Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Reviews Stuff. And this is my Reading Rush Day 3 vlog! Oh my god! And I'm getting ready to turn off my ring lights. <laughs> I've been filming some videos for my other channels today. So, look at my new little plants I got. I got this one, and I got this one for my husband. Yeah, and so I'm uploading videos over there on my phone. And I just fed the dogs, and so I'm gonna clean up the kitchen. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. So this is a book review as well. Here's Pee Pee's dinner tonight. It's so delicious. He did not want to finish eating it. Um, so I have it up over here until he's ready to eat. He eats a little bit and then he says, okay, dad, I've had enough. So I'm cleaning up, clean as you go. Um, and what is the spoon that I just used? Because there's a little bit of food left in the can. Okay. Um, so anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I finished my first book last night, uh, What If It's Us by Adam Silvera and Becky Albertalli, and I loved it. Five stars, straight up, all the way. I know that people think it's really incredibly cheesy. It is. I know they think it's corny. It is. All that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to kind of give my review a little bit to that today. Hold on a second. Um, don't need this. Don't need this. She hate when you get mail that is trash. Look at all of my coffee things. Do you want to see all my coffee things? Okay, if you don't watch my vlog. So I got this water bottle. Isn't that so cool? Because I'm trying not to use plastic and things. Okay, save the environment. And then I got this one. You see? It has the Starbucks emblem right there. It's for hot coffee. I haven't used that one yet, actually. And then I got this one on Etsy. And it's for iced coffee. But I'm actually using another cup today that I got. Um, so anyway, I finished the book. I thought it was great. Um, I cried my eyes out. I cried ugly tears. This is like really just like a regular um, Peter Mon vlog, isn't it? Yeah, I thought it was really, really good. It was weird when I was done. I was like, I feel like... Um, I know the characters really, really well. Um, I hated the ending. I will tell you that. Um, I'm not a person that likes realistic endings. I like fairy tale endings. Um, <laughs> I don't know that I need to read books always. I mean, it's fine, you know, like and all that. But like, I don't want to ruin it for anybody. I just didn't like the ending. I wanted it. I I wanted a different ending. And if you've read it, then you know what I'm talking about. And everybody's probably like, oh no, but I love the realistic endings and all that kind of stuff. I don't. Um, I, I hope there's a sequel to it. I will say that. I don't think there probably is, but I hope that there might be a sequel to it. Do you guys use this Mrs. Meyer stuff? I'm obsessed with it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of like, I was a little let down about the ending of it. But I was like, I listened to it on Audible and I was like an hour out from finishing it and I was like I know how this book's gonna end I know it right now and it's gonna depress me and so yeah so whatever and then um but I thought it was extremely well done I really did not think that I was gonna like it as much as I did and um, let me grab my books over here that I'm reading for book Chubathon. I really did not think that I was gonna like it as much as I did and I ended up loving it can I just tell you that I reviewed this snuggy thing for my review channel, and my husband ended up loving it. He, like, actually uses it. So, um, I started right after that. I started uh, Two of Us Can Keep a Secret or something like that by Karen McManus. Um, I read One of Us is Lying earlier in the year, and so this is my book for uh, five words or more. And I started it last night. I'm about an hour and a half into the book already. I'm listening to it on Audible. And I really like it. It's interesting. Uh, people are saying that it's like you can really kind of figure out what happens long before it happens. I'm sure. It's just not that deep of a book. But I like the whole... It, you know what it actually reminds me a little bit of? I don't know why. And I didn't love this book, but I didn't hate it. Is It reminds me a little bit of The Devouring Gray. Except there's no paranormal kind of aspect to it. At least not yet. But I don't think there is going to be. It's a murder mystery. And... Um, I'm really enjoying it. I like the main character. I like the town. It goes back and forth between two characters. 
And yeah, it's really enjoyable. I'm really liking it. It's a good summer book to read because it's kind of scary, but it's in the summer. So, okay. Then the other books I'm reading um, are a book with a non-human main character, and I'm reading A Dog's Way Home by Bruce Cameron. I have not started that yet. Um, Tangerine, Christine uh, Mangan. This is the one I really want to start. I haven't started this one. This is the book I'm going to... Oh, well, hello, Boo Radley. <laughs> Do you see? Boo, you want to say hi to everybody? Boo, boo. Boo. Say hi to everybody. Um, this is the book that I'm going to read in the same place, which is on my front porch. I haven't started that yet. Um, Wilder Girls by Rory Power. I took the cover off. I always take the cover off on my books. I'm really, really, really liking this book. Um, and I'm not too far into it. I'm only like two chapters into it. But it's really good. The language is a little hard to read. At first I kind of liked it, but now it's kind of a little bit difficult to read. Um, and then I'm reading Made You Up by Francesca Zappia. I want her to be my new best friend. She lives in Indianapolis. So if you're watching this, Francesca, um, Franny, I don't know, Fran, <laughs> F. Uh, anyway, I am so loving this book. It is so good. Um, I read several years ago. I think I did it for Booktubeathon last year, Eliza and Her Monsters, and I really, really, really liked it. So, um, this is her first book, actually, Made You Up, and it's about a girl that has schizophrenia, and it's just fantastic, and I'm reading this for a book that has purple on the cover, and just so that you all can see, yes, there's purple in the back, and there's also purple right here, and then there's also purple on the side, and no, it's not blue, it's purple. Okay. And then I'm reading The Island by Peter Benchley, and I took the cover off of this, too. You guys want to see the covers of these? Hold on. So, here's The Island by Peter Benchley. So old. There's Peter Benchley in the back. And this is Wilder Girls. I actually got it at Barnes & Noble. It's the back. Um, the Island is about a reporter that goes to this island in the Caribbean between, like, Haiti and the Bahamas. And there's supposedly, like, a lot of deaths that are occurring there. Um, or uh, disappearances. And so, he goes there to kind of investigate. That's actually going to be the book that I focus on today to read. I'm right at chapter two. Um, so yeah, that's the book. It's really, it's not that long. It's like less than 300 pages, 200, uh, 302 pages. So I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna start reading this out there today. Um, I love to read on my front porch and it's actually a beautiful day outside. Um, I've been watering my plants all day long because um, the heat is killing my plants. Do you guys have plants at your house? Is it doing the same thing? It's kind of depressing, isn't it? And I like really work hard on keeping them up. Do you guys want to come up here and tell everybody what you read? Come on, boo. There's Tucker and there's Boo and they're biological brothers in case you've never met them before. And uh, Boo Radley is of course named after Boo Radley and To Kill a Mockingbird and he is so appropriately named, aren't you, buddy? Come here, come on. <laughs> and, um, Boo Radley's favorite books are adventure books. Mm -hmm. He loves that book, Hatchet. And uh, Tucker, he only reads Daniel Steele. He loves Daniel Steele. Oh, sometimes Nora Roberts, but mostly he just loves Daniel Steele. Duncan, Pee Pee! Pee Pee! Pee Pee the Flying Chihuahua. My other dog, Pee Pee, he is not wanting to be a movie star right now. Um, Pee Pee! Oh, let me pick up this. Nope, nobody's here. Come on, Pee-Pee. Oh, there's Pee-Pee. Pee-Pee, you want to be in the movie? Hold on. Come here. Come here. Tell everybody what your favorite movie is. He said, my favorite movie or my favorite book? Your favorite book. Well, I used to love Daniel Steele, but I gave him all to Tucker. What do you read now? He said, now, well, I can't read much because I can't see because my eyes are getting bad. He said, I love audiobooks, so he goes, and I listen to podcasts. His favorite podcast is my favorite murder. So anyway, well, there's your food. Do you want more of it? That's my reading vlog for the day. And do I have other reading things to tell you? I don't think that I do. Are you guys doing well on your reading challenges? So I know I'll definitely finish two books this week. I'm going to finish both audiobooks. And then I think if I finish it, I'm going to go in and I'm going to listen to the end of On the Come Up by Angie Thomas, which is also a book that I meant to finish last year. Did it come out last year or did it come out this year? Oh, I think it came out this year. Um, but I am like halfway through the audiobook and I started listening to it months ago. And so I need to finish that. So I might try to finish that. Um, and then, yeah, just focus on my physical reading copies and all of that.
So yeah, it's a beautiful night outside to read. It's kind of cool in Indiana today. It's not like super hot or anything. It's nice. So I'm excited about that. And uh, yeah. And of course I have to watch Pose too. So anyway. Pose, 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 Pose. All right. Love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.